So what's going on my daddy kid of Rose Brudettes? It's me, Louis Chicken, and welcome back to another episode of the cancel build of Mario Music Box Arc Revamped. Which you by the way can download on your own right now because Team Ari finally has uploaded this cancel build to the public. If you're now sad that the game got cancelled, don't be sad. It will actually get a brand new engine and a brand new title. It will be called Mario Music Box Reset, which will be even bigger and better and overall less limitations. Corp Syndrome, part of Team Ari, even said that they hope they're able to finish Mighty Music Box reset until the end of the year. If they're not able to succeed, then we're gonna start the Joker arc. With that being said, smash the like button if you still love this series. Subscribe to the channel right now if you're new here. And let's continue from where we left off. Ouch. Mario is still wounded. I forgot. Damn you, Reba. He stabbed him. We're gonna continue our sane route playthrough. Come on. Faster. You're pushing it. Straight, Reba will come back and hunt us down. Fine, I'll try to go faster. Let's go, Mario. We've gotta go fast, just like Sonic. I heard something. Huh. Must have been some kind of animal. Or not. Uh. The peach. Why? Why? You were just with me not too long ago. Why did this happen? I, I feel so sick. Why is this even happening? Wait. She... She has no face. What is it, this? <laughs> I'm here. I promise to keep you safe. She just ignored it. Yeah, like everything else you came across here, Mario. Gross. With your ignorance, we venture forth. I don't know what the correct way was here in this forest. Ooh. I also cannot recall that there were crows actually approaching us. It says left for the dead end, right for Evangeline, a town. I can get help then. I should hurry up. Actually, I want to know what happens if we're gonna go to the dead end. Any funny new death scenes? Fuck off, bird. Great, it really is a dead end. Mario, where are you going? You should be walking along with the wound. Look who's talking. There is no time for jokes. Come with me. Found you. <laughs> oh, can't be doing this to Luigi. <laughs> oh, what's this? I thought I killed you. No, oh, why? You have such a strong will, Alice. Quit using Mario's body to hide. Get out and face me. Luigi! Why? Why did you? Are you listening to me? I didn't do anything to you. Forget it. You're wasting my time. Wait, no! At least they're reunited in heaven, right? Okay, not gonna lie. That was that was crazy, that was brutal. Is there anything else if you're gonna go upwards? Upward? Can you English please? Only German people will understand the joke. So we head to the town. Hmm. Oh, what is this place? It looks abandoned. Evangeline. Wait, this can't be. This is the small town that disappeared long ago. How could it be here? Am I the first to come through here? You're not the first. Oh. oh. It's you, Mario. You probably don't know me. I'm Toadston, Professor Gat's head assistant. Toadston? Oh, you're all of the missing people! That's right. I came here under Igat's orders. What a foolish decision. I died here, and my soul is trapped in this cursed place, along with the rest of the residents of this town. Trapped? Dying in this cursed location results in your soul being trapped here forever, as far as I know. Well, Try to find a way to release this curse. Hopefully, I can find something soon. Is your brother with you? He has something which can help you. What? What does he have? Ever noticed something odd with his eyes? Oh, the question. If his eye color is blue or green. I, I don't remember. Do you remember your brother's true eye color? <laughs> which is a pretty tricky question. 
because apparently in the first original Super Mario Bros game, his eye color is actually green. I said, uh, it, it's gotta be blue. I'm 100% sure, but they're like, nope. nope. So we have to say it's, it's green. We gotta go back to the days where Super Mario Bros came out. They were green. I remember how she hated them because she wanted to have eyes like mine. You're a good brother. I'm glad you remembered. He really wanted those lenses so it can look like his old twin. These contact lenses have a special power that Egat and I developed. Luigi was a good candidate for them. So I figured that he could have them from me. What is the special power they have? Here, take these. Contact lenses? I don't need them. I can see just fine. <laughs> these aren't just ordinary contact lenses. Try them on and see for yourself. You will meet many spirits past this point. And these lenses should be able to help you. Now he's gonna turn blue, yeah. What do you see now? I can see that you're blue. <laughs> I remember people be like when Mario said you're blue now. Everyone was like, is that an Undertale reference? Bro, it, it had nothing to do with that. That's right. These special lenses can let you see the auras of spirits. Blue spirits are friendly. Red spirits are very deadly. Although, be aware. There can be blue spirits which are deceiving, or they become hostile and turn red. Why are you really helping me? I'm surprised you have become hostile from suffering all this time. Well, I have a request for you. As you know, I've been considered missing for a long time. If you leave this place alive, I want you to tell my family of my fate. It can at least give them closure. I see. I will let them know. Now go. Find a way out. <laughs> No, I think I spent too much time. The pain is getting worse. Yeah, we need some medical help, bro. But we have the forest, which, with blood red shoes, she is known to lure her victims by appearing as someone you hold dear to. Do not contact her. Avoid her at all costs. It's a dangerous witch. And a bitch. I can't remember if there was anything specific to interact with. The air is so thick here. I can barely breathe. Ugh, it reeks. Who's there? Oop. Ugh. Ugh. Can it not see me? I will find you. I should sneak past it and see if I can find anything that can treat this wound. Yeah, or we're just gonna save our progress and see what happens if we don't sneak past it. Suddenly, I felt something pick me up by my neck. <coughs> Found you. Let go! Its grip is getting tighter! I began to vomit blood. I felt my throat collapsing. So warm, but yet so cold. I'm sorry, Weezy. Game to the over. This time we're gonna go Sprinter Cell, Sam Fisher, Sneaky Mode. Damn. Damn. It's a minute before midnight. It looks like all the clocks are stuck like this. It's blocked off. Well. Anything in here? Oh, what's at this? A medicine kit. Hope it's still good to use. Let's see. I have to stitch this up and stop the bleeding with a bandage. I love how you can see that Mario's shadow is actually Alice. A nice little detail. I disinfected first. Ouch! It stings! There we go. Time to wrap it up. It's not a great job, but it's better than nothing. I think I should rest. I'm feeling a bit tired. Hopefully, Reaper doesn't catch up. Where did he go? I need to make sure he's okay. Hopefully the dangerous man hasn't gotten to him. It's Ouija time, everybody! Oh, I cannot I cannot click on escape. Doesn't mean I cannot save my progress. Ah! I need to find Mario. Mario, wherever you are, I'm a coming for you. Just like in Luigi's mansion. Luigi. <gasps> it's him! No spoilers though. Huh? Oh, wait, wait. Why do you look like me? How do you know my name? I feel uneasy. I can see his aura. There's so much to explain. Let's take this one step at a time. I'm your ancestor. My name is Luciano. More specifically, I'm a previous iteration of you. Why are you here? Someone who I thought was my brother betrayed me. I want to hurt him as much as he hurt me. I will need you to help me achieve that. Hey, hey. I don't want to hurt anyone. I'm just looking for my brother. You're still looking for him. Even after everything he has done to you. He... 
I know he didn't mean to hurt me. Something else is controlling him. Is it? Or is it something you just want to believe? I was like you in life. I vowed to protect my twin. And what did he do in return? He framed me. He used me as a scapegoat. Just to save his own skin. Vietnam flashbacks. Why do you trust him so much? He left you to rot and die. He didn't tend to your wounds after he stabbed you. He will only let it happen again. Only this time, you won't be as lucky. Th that's not true! Why is it not true? Why would I lie? Mario is the reincarnation of my twin brother. I know how he will turn out. He doesn't care about you. Just like he didn't care about me. He only wants to save himself. He will use you as a scapegoat. And just like you, I was foolish to trust him. Don't be fooled by... Stop it! Stop being so foolish. I know you envy him so much. You're always left behind. And nobody. A shadow. Please, don't make such horrible lies about my brother. It's true that I envy him. But I still care about him. Without him, I'm a nothing. And nobody. You came here to help your brother. Look how that turned out. You're alone. In pain and scared. He never came back for you, even knowing that you have the wound. <laughs> oh shit, the truth! Come, I will show you everything. Show you the truth of the person you idolize so much. Reality, you know we are suffering because we are both cursed. This world will continue to be unfair to you, all because you were second born. Yeah, this goes deeper, my dedicated bros. This ice pack truly goes deeper. Hmm. Huh. Must have dozed off. How long was I out? What's this in my hand? Found an old key. Hmm. I don't remember grabbing this. Hmm. It could be useful. I'll take it with me. Now that I'm feeling a bit better, I need to go back to Ouija. Hope he's okay. Huh. The chainsaw is missing. Who took it? Oh boy. All this time you had the chainsaw with you? I think I slept long enough. Yeah, you truly did, Mario. I need to actually get awake now. Okay. This. Imagine sleeping up there while still knowing that downstairs is a spirit. Please, leave me alone. Still want to believe in me. It's not that it's... It's just that I don't want to hurt him and... Luigi! You're okay! I was worried so much about you! I'm glad you made it here! Mario, next time don't run off like that. We have to stay together. I'm sorry. Wait, what is this place? Where are we? Uh, I'll explain it later. Just follow me. Don't fall behind. Why doesn't he ever want to tell me anything? Yeah, that's kind of sus, Mario. So, we can now open this door. Nice and nice. The clock also stuck at 11.59. I wonder if it means anything. Dusty. Well, tell me about it. It's making my nose itch. And mine as well. It's the nose itch demon. Hey. Hey. What? Hey. Mario. Why did you lock me out here? Come on, Mario. Now it's not the time to play games. Please. I don't want to be alone again. I'm not surprised he left you behind. Again. I tried to warn you. Why? Why would he do this? I thought he would have learned by now. Mario, you stupid. Hmm? Luigi? Wait a second. Where is the door handle? Luigi, are you okay? Can you hear me? I have to find a way out. I need to make sure he's okay. I hope he's okay. I have to find another way out. Bro, finally they've been together. And as soon as they actually got together, they got separated again. There's something odd about this book. Yeah, it's flying, bro. The story of a poor girl. Once upon a time, there was a little girl. She lived in a small house with her mother and father. They didn't have much money, but the father tried his best. She had very little to eat. She rarely got to sleep. She was mostly pulled to work by her mother, working odd jobs or begging in the streets. One day, her father became rich. The mother wanted to abandon the poor girl. She wanted more money to herself. The father refused to give up their daughter. One day, the mother had disappeared. The father fell into grief, thinking his wife abandoned him. 
who he did not know his wife was murdered. Now that she was gone, it was a family of a daughter and her father. The little girl lived happily ever after. The end. The good end for the girl! It's about time. Let's play a game. Who killed mother? You have 40 seconds. If you can find it, I will turn the doorknob and give you a prize. If you don't, then you will be trapped forever. Uh, I need to hurry. Oh, I'm even allowed to save a progress. Well, that's nice. I know it's a it's a the daughter. It's a the daughter who killed mother. Oh, I even have to type down the name. It's a p p p p p p. Oh shit! I think the game didn't like that. I think the game closed on me. <laughs> Incorrect. Okay, this time it didn't crash. Was it actual coincidence? Looks like I need to keep searching. Yeah, okay. This time, as I said, the game didn't crash on me. Nothing here. Picked up a note. Oh, we got a note. We gotta check out that note. It's an A. Is the name maybe Alice? But we were running out of time. And that's totally fine. Because I want to see the death scene anyway. There was another note. Ooh. And it's the last piece of the note. It's a 100% Alice. On the other hand, where's actually the timer? In the original game, it was a timer. Ah, uh, there we go. Time's up. Oh, no. I can't see. You will never leave this room. No way. Just let me out of here. You will never leave this room. Luigi, can you hear me? Hello, anyone? I don't want to stay here forever. Please, can anyone hear me? Several days have passed. I think. It's so hard to tell. I'm so hungry. I'm so thirsty. I don't know what to do. I can't move anymore. I have no energy left. It hasn't stopped raining. It mocks me. Nobody has come to find me. Luigi hasn't responded. I don't want to die here. Siren to death probably must be one of the worst deaths I can imagine. Who killed mother? Who killed your Anne? It's gotta be Alice, right? You cheater! Huh? Ungrateful! Fine! For one second I thought, oh boy, I'm really done for. Obtained moon statue. That must have been the door! Luigi, I'm so sorry! I hope he's okay. Mario! Oh, thank goodness, you're okay! Please! Don't leave me alone again! I don't like being alone in this place! I'm sorry, bro. I didn't mean to. I was locked in there and had to find a way to get out! Excuses. It's always excuses. Let's keep moving. It's not safe here. Poor Luigi. I really feel for him. Ah, oh, dang it. Luciano, why are you doing this? But what are you to do next? Uh, you rub a believable bell. Oh, did you feel that? Something is already his pass. We can't go this way. Just leads back to the mansion. Oh, to the right. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Something goes here. What do you think it's for? I don't know. Perhaps a switch. Found woman statue. Oh, wasn't there also some kind of horrible death scene? Oh boy, I want to see that. Ready to play? Play. What do you mean? <laughs> Solve the puzzle, and that will let you pass towards the town. A woman once prayed to the moon in hopes to be with her one true love. She had faced east on the west side of the mountains. The moon faced east on the west side of the mountain. Come to me once you're finished. <laughs> hey, is the moon statue here? Yes, which direction? We gotta do it up. We just gotta do it randomly. Not east, not west. We gotta do north and south, bruh. Because why the fuck not? I heard something. Oh, look. Now we can go. Did you hear someone? Who's that peach? Princess. Huh? Must have been my imagination. What? Mario? Why did you fall behind? There's an exit this way. Mario, 
Where are you? Ow! Oh, yeah, it's exactly this one. Mario oh. sliced it half. But Mario, what? What happened? Mario, who did this to you? I didn't see anyone else in here. How could this have happened? He was just behind me. I'm, I'm sorry. Someone was sliced in the middle of his abdomen. How could I have not heard him scream or yell? Is this a nightmare? I must be in a nightmare. Next moment, I suddenly heard the switch go off. What was it that? What is this pain? Some killing pain. So it's actually pretty simple. So, we're gonna place not the moon statue here, we're gonna place the woman statue here. And she's gonna face to the east. She was on the west, but facing to the east, which is the right side. And obviously the moon statue, which is on the east, is facing to the west side, which is to the left. And now we should be good to go. Correct. I will let you pass towards the town now. Finally. Looked. What? Please don't tell me that I'm soft. Like I guess I'm just fucking stupid, my dedicated bros and brunettes, and it's been way too long that I've played that game. It, it, it turns out I'm not supposed to even go down there because it's a fucking fake door. I'm just supposed to go back. You can now go for the barrier. Fuck! It's so cold here! If I had known, it would be this cold and rainy. What a brother's weather! Bro, are you okay? H hey! I can't stand it anymore. I'm sick of all this. Enough is enough. I'm tired of you brushing me off. The Mario I know was always so kind and caring. But you're cold and distant. You're not a Mario. What are you talking about? He's still me. Mario! I've lost all hope. I know that there is no way to save you. You're cursed. Fail to die here. I'm leaving this place alone. I'm sorry. I wish you well, Mario. No, Luigi, don't be an asshole. Why does he think that? What did I do wrong? Mm. Should try to catch up. It's so dangerous to be alone here. I really hope he's okay. Do you really think he will accept you as his brother? Even after everything you've done? Just forget about leaving. Nobody will accept you once he tells everyone what you did to him. Shut up! I won't let you manipulate me into thinking that. We'll escape with Luigi. <laughs> I wonder how long you will survive. If only you gave me control, it would be free. I need to keep moving. Oh, you sure do, Mario. Hero residence. Oh, there we go. We're not going after Mario. What does your reflection mean to you? Markion. One of your reflection here is different. Find it. Find your true self. Wait! He looked a lot like me. What does he mean by finding my true self? My reflection looks normal. Maybe you're looking for an anomaly, Mario. Maybe it's here. It's just plain on me. But there's another door. Nothing out of the ordinary. There is something in the reflection. Found memory fragment number three. More backstory! I got it. Good morning. Mr. Isaac Edgerace and Mrs. Evie Edgerace, I have paperwork that has been served to you. What do you mean? We're getting evicted? This property is now under ownership of Markion Evangelisti. Evangelisti, sorry. Under this order, you have three days to leave this residence. Where will we go? We have no money. We barely have enough to eat. We have a child, for heaven's sake. Unfortunately, this order is final. There is nothing that can be done. What are we going to do? I'm already stuck with a bunch of filthy vermin. And now, I'm going to be thrown out into the streets? Unacceptable. Where is Mark in person is? I'll find a way to get back at him. I swear I will. I'll make him pay. Alice. I can't imagine how much rage she had that day. But who is that Markian person? So, anything out of the ordinary here? There's something on the ground! Something is not right. I feel a sense of dread. But we still pick it up. We found Luigi's hat? It's Luigi's hat! Was he here? I need to find him! I need to make sure he's okay! Or we're oh, now just no. going to die because there was a trap. Huh? I'm locked in! Yikes, uh. 
The sense of threat is getting stronger. Right. Ooh, rip lantern. What was it that sound? Hey, let it go of me. Let go. I said let go of. Oh dear. Thank fucking goodness that we haven't seen what's going on. I'm going to clean this up. It's become nothing but a mess, Mario. I'm disappointed. Bro, who was Splatty Mary, motherfucker? Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't say it before interacting with Luigi's hat. What if we pick it up, actually? We found Luigi's hat. Can I interact with it, maybe? Luigi's hat. <laughs> I don't think that this is right. Well, we're dead. To the left side, maybe? Nothing out of the ordinary. I have to admit, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. It's just me. Ugh. <laughs> Why are you looking so fancy, Mario? You look so much like me. Who are you? Oh, this mirror. I can go through it. Oh, this part was hard in the original at least. But you had to avoid those lanterns. You are... Just who are you? Why do you look like me? Please answer me. Strange person who looks exactly like me is pointing forward, not saying a word. I just realized there was a distant jingle. The strange person was pointing at the floating lanterns. There is an ominous glow to them. They seem to be patrolling this area. I should be careful. I read about spirits like these in an old book. They are guardians of the spirit world. Of course, they don't take kindly of the living. I need to hold my breath and walk slowly around them. They are very hostile to living people. Hey, hold on! He went up ahead. I need to get answers. Okay, here I go. Oh, I need to hold my breath with the C button now? Well, this is... This is new. Bro, let me please save my... my I don't want to see this cutting again. Anyways, I, I want to actually check out the death scene. Never mind. Huh? Oh. Oh, this is new that there's a person standing. Oh, no! They know I'm here! I need to... Never mind, bro. It was so fast. I didn't know what hit me. It wasn't long until I started to lose consciousness. Oh, boy. Well, that... Oh, boy! Bye. F in the chat! In the final version, which is not the cancelled build, that definitely should be, like, another safe point if you're asking me, boys and girls. Like in Mario Music Box Reset. After this part, before we have to rewatch this cutscene, save! So... Oh, like that! We have to pass by them! Oh, shit! Oh, God, oh, God, they're coming closer. Bro... Bro, the RNG is not on my side. Bro, this is amazing. Oh, fuck it. Oh, this is nice. They're just giving me the try again option. Just like with the Reba fight. Okie dokie. Hold your... Hold my breath. Okay, this time. <laughs> the Luigi kid skill issue is real. Mario. Mario, breathe. Pass by. Quickly, Mario. Okay, breathe in. Just like that. What the heck? How am I still alive? We made it. Come on, let me please save. Please, let me save. The pressure is way too real. Okay, everyone hold your breath, just like a Mario. He's got this. He's got this. <sighs> oh man, this dude is fast! This dude is fast! Was this one of those checkpoints? I hope it was. <laughs> this shit's getting intense. Oh! Didn't expect that this mofo would be chasing me. But hey, we had a checkpoint. <sighs> so here we're safe. Or oh my gosh, I ran straight into it. Oh, oh no. no! No! Oh, the press will continue! Nein! Fuck! That there was, was a missing point! point! Okay, we're back here. 
Why am I just running to them fuckers? It's not that hard. Don't play dumb, Ouija kid. Just need to take a slow. Oh boy. How long is he after me? Bitch! Oh, it's going through. It, it goes through walls? You need the perfect timing to sneak past these asshole ghosts. I press C. Okay, another checkpoint. That one chasing ghost is gone. Oh no, another one is chasing me. Oh, please leave me alone. Oh god, oh god, please just. No, oh, come on! We're almost at the checkpoint! Oh god! Yes! Yeah. I still can't save our progress. Found Markion's key. Markion? Why is it that name so familiar? Oh, my head! Markion! 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 The sound of flames! The sound of screams! What is this vision? Is it from the past? Markion! I swear! I curse! I curse you! I... You are next! I... Uh. Luigi! What's going on? Make it to stop! Make it stop! I don't want to see this! Why? Why do you have to suffer? <gasps> oh! Anybody cut scene? Yo! This is crazy! It just turned into an actual anime! This also is new! I think I actually saw it once teased on Twitter. But this is just so much cooler to see in the game! If I stay any longer, this place will engulf my sanity. Every time I see memories like these, they hurt deep inside. They feel as if they were mine. I have to pull myself together. I can't let this place consume me. That's right, Mario. And that's why I finally will save my progress, okay? Nothing else to do here, huh? Okay, I guess we go back to town. Oh, who is it that? Who is it that? Markion's residence. We used the key that we got, and in we are. How am I getting a deja vu? Something about this place feels like a home. But why? Because it kind of is your home. It's filled with religious textbooks. How boring. Bros shaming religion. The, the fuck? fuck? Just an empty cabinet. <clears throat> Just an empty cabinet. I for one second forgot how to do the Mario voice. None of the clocks anywhere work at all. Oh dear. Just close this and pretend I never saw this. Oh boy. It's kind of like the Mario RPG Easter egg in Peach's room where you found Peach's question mark, question mark, question mark, huh? It's nice that we have an Easter egg like that in there as well. A bunch of books labeled as timetables. It looks to be work-related. It's here with made uniforms. Aurora's diary. Work for Markion. After the incident, Markion took me to be his handmaiden. I still refuse to believe he is some kind of monster like my people claimed he was. He was shown nothing but kindness to me. He's a little bit stoic, but I know deep below that stoic nature is a kind man, the man I've grown attached to. He saved me. I would do anything for him, even if it means laying my life down for his. Phil is not an option. I'm more qualified to be his protector. Seeing Reba be his protector fills me with sadness. I want to be Markion's. I want my entire life to be dedicated to him. Why have I taken such a liking to him? I get these feelings in my chest whenever I'm with Markion. I cannot explain this foreign feeling. Aurora's Diary. The Executions. My people have been receiving persecutions ever since Dorothy attempted to kill Markion. And it's not only my people, but anyone who deems to be a witch. I only put my head down and continued to serve Markion, all for his sake. I will still continue to protect and serve him for my entire life. Even if I have to watch my people get wiped out of existence, I will still stay by his side. Aurora's Diary. My name. I adore the name Markion has bestowed to me. It's to hide my true identity from the town since I'm what they despise the most, a witch. My true name was given to me by a talking black cat, along with a blessing. At least that is what I was told by my parents. Black cats are seen as gods in our culture. 
Being honored to carry a name from our God is a great privilege, so having to use my new name is saddening. However, for him, I will do anything, as he is my beloved Markion. It's a blessing to serve a man who is close to his own God. Okay, we have read enough. Snoop too much around in here. Anything else up there? There he is. It's you again. Welcome home. Home? What are you talking about? This is not my home. I don't even know how this place exists. It's been lost to time. This can't possibly be my home. In a time long past a previous life. This was your home. Our home, comrade. <laughs> Sorry. You probably don't remember anything from your past life. But there is no denying you are getting the feeling of home being here. There is a reason you were drawn to this cursed place. Don't you want to find out why? Whoever, whatever he is, he gives me a bad vibe. What does he mean by our home? Whatever it is, come this far. Still need to find a way to get out of here. Shout. Don't trust a single word that comes out of his mouth. I must regain control. Must regain control. I think we regain control. It's very broken. Nothing inside, too. The books are sold. Look like they can fall apart any moment. Are you in here, Markion? Hello? Still a minute before midnight. Markion's diary. The childhood. All I have is this diary to call friend. I was not allowed to play outside with the other the children. I was not old enough to protest. Even if I did, I was met with punishment. I would often stare outside the window and watch the other kids my age have fun with things other than books. Why can't I go outside? One winter morning, I snuck my way out. I saw the other the children playing in the snow. I wanted to feel what snow was like. I was happy, but when the other children saw me, they looked at me with confusion. I tried to speak, but I couldn't get the words out. I tried harder, but all that came out were loud breaths and tears. I ran back inside and cried my eyes out. It was too much. I couldn't talk to others. It was as if my voice was stripped away from me. Mother found out, as there were rumors of a black-winged angel with the skin as white as snow. It didn't take long for Mother to figure out it was talking about me. My winter outfit was all black and my skin is very pale. Of course, I was punished for it. I was no longer allowed out of my study. It's not fair. Why were other children allowed to play outside? Why am I forced to be locked in here and start the old day? Why can't I go outside? Poor man. Birthday. So many years have passed. Today, I turned 20. Despite my age, they thought I should have a guardian. A clergyman from a neighboring kingdom. Riba is his name. He had never told us his last name. According to him, he claims not to have earned the right to his last name. Odd, perhaps a part of his home kingdom's culture. No matter, I already started to dislike him. He treated me as if I was a mere child. He didn't even look that much older than me. I hated that on my 20th birthday, I was appointed a glorified babysitter. Then I was given my second present. More books. They've got me. My old library. All I wanted was to finally go outside by myself after spending 20 years studying and working to become the next town's leader. Why must he treat me like a child at this age? I'm like a bird trapped in a cage. I'm only allowed to exceed my study for father's sermons. Funeral? Today was father's funeral. He passed away from some unknown disease. One day, he just dropped dead in front of me during my studies. I wasn't allowed to grieve. I wasn't even allowed to stay in the funeral. I was ordered to go back home and study. I ended up having my first fight with Reba. I heard how he enforced the rules my parents set on me. I heard how he looked at me with pity. And mother? What about mother? Mother ended up falling into deep grief after father passed away. She had begun to apologize for not letting me live her normal life. She confessed to her biggest sin. She had told me how I was a firstborn same-sex twin, the child of heaven, the creator. Many names came with it. It was the Evangeline's biggest fear. The bad omen. Twins of the same sex are considered a bad omen. So that means mother had to hide the birth. The second twin. She had exiled him and her own handmaid now to raise him. Awful names like the child of hell, the destroyer, were often put on the second born. Infanticide was a common practice for the bad omen. Both children would be killed in a ritualistic sacrifice. My family couldn't let such a terrible secret out. The fact I was a twin. It would tarnish our holy name. I was always kept locked up due to fear of one day. 
by Twin were to return to this town. Apparently, he did it once in my youth. Which is the reason I was forced to stay inside. I hardly remember. A few years later, mother eventually passed away from the same illness as my father. I was left alone to run this entire town. This is what I was raised for. I was left with everything. This house, the estate, and the power to rule the entire town. It was a big responsibility. No family left except for my win. The rest of the pages are torn. The deepest Loma dedicated to those regrets. Ah, Markion. He definitely had it rough when he was younger. I'm sure you want to know why this place is so familiar. A long time ago, you were known as Markion, leader of this town, appointed by birthright. I am but a fragment of the previous life, your soul left behind, will share a soul but not consciousness. Memories of your previous life will come, but be prepared to handle them if you let them consume you. You will fall into madness. No one will be able to pull you out, not even Luigi. Wait! That can't be possible, right? My previous life? It's already too much for my head. Just want to find Luigi and go home. Luigi, where are you? Hope you're somewhere safe. No. She'll go back. Mario is in a lot of stress. I fairly judged him. I shouldn't have said those things. I'm an idiot. I need to save him. He's only going to leave you behind again. After all, all he will do is use you to save his own skin. Stop it! Stop poisoning my head! Mario would never do that! He's always been there for me! I'm trying to help you. That's what Mario did to me. I don't want Mario doing the same to you. Get rid of whatever thoughts you have about Mario. In the end, we'll end up killing you if you do not act. Just leave! Leave me alone! <laughs> I see you're chatting to yourself, Queen Stash. Huh? The voice? Dimensio? Whoa! So we meet again, Luigi. I see you're having a ball with yourself. How has life been treating you since our encounter? Bro, Mr. Air reference are coming. You seem stressed. Why not have a chat? I've graced you with my presence. Might as well take this opportunity. Now is not the time. You're right. I'm looking for an acquaintance of mine. You haven't seen a talking mask around here, have you? No, not that I can think of. You're so dull. You should really turn that frown upside down. You know, you and your friends did a number on me. You even ruined my outfit. <laughs> but I have other things to worry about. Until then, ciao. I thought we defeated him ages ago. How could he still be alive? I wonder, who's he looking for? A talking mask? Hmm. It doesn't matter. I need to go back to Mario. This is where the same route of the cancel bill of Mari the music box arc revamp ends. But then again, Rosa Brands, the plot twist, the Mencio! Where the heck is he coming from? All these years after being Super Paper Mario, he's actually inside this game to reappear. Oh, I'm so damn excited what they have planned for him and planned in Mario Music Box Reset, which will hopefully come out at the end of this year. If not, Cops and Rule will start the joke arc. Boys and girls, if you enjoyed today's episode or the same route of Mario Music Box arc revamp as much as I did, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel right now. And I think we're gonna check out what they now have prepared for us in the insane route. Maybe very soon. <laughs> With all that being said, don't forget to subscribe to the channel part if you haven't already, to rate the video, or leave comments feedback, and we'll see each other in the next video. We'll start with my dedicated roast friends. Stay awesome, stay safe, and see you. Ciao!